How do you take care of your landscape? Hey, oh, homeowners, DIY, and professional landscapers, my name is Hudson, and today we're going to talk about how to take care of your landscape in all the seasons. In fact, that's kind of how I think of landscape is by season. So right now it is winter, and winter landscape doesn't really need a lot. In fact, if you've done your fall cleanups, then you are good to go. And if you haven't, then you don't need to worry about them until spring. So right now it's pretty much just keep yourself from falling over by keeping your walkways and enter areas clear of snow and you're good to go. If you don't have any snow and you find yourself on a okayly warmish day to get out and get in your garden and you want to do a little bit of something, then you'll want to do the fall cleanups, which is basically pick up the leaves and if there's something that's dead, that is like a, a perennial, then just trim it back and pick up that dead stuff, burn that leaf pile or dispose of it in uh, to a composter, get it taken care of uh, or moved, moved out of your lawn or put in a compost pile. And that's a really simple way to clean up that. However, if you've got that stuff done, then we're gonna talk about spring maintenance. Okay, spring maintenance is basically this. The snow melts, it goes away, and it's wet and damp out and new stuff is bursting up through the ground and it's spring. Let's go. And finally, finally it's warm out. And you get out in the garden and you start to notice there's a whole bunch of stuff here that's just keeping my garden down and making it look a little drab and a little gross. We're gonna clean that up. Okay, so the first thing is leaves because regardless of whether or not you cleaned up all the leaves in your yard and your garden, over the fall. It's been winter for a while. Sticks have fallen. Leaves have blown in from other places and they're back in your yard and garden. So just pick up those leaves and twigs. And if you did fall maintenance on your project, then it's probably going to be easier on you, honestly. And then just systematically go around your house. And if you have deadheads to do, deadhead them, hydrangeas, depending on the variety, you want to just take off the big floof at the top of the plant. Um, and if it's a more woody variety, just take off the tip of that plant. But if it's like an Annabelle, you can cut those down to the ground, take those canes and burn them, dispose of them, and then work your way around anything that is dead or gross, cut it out of your plants and throw it away and burn it. Anything that is still good or is leafing out, just leave it be. Let it do what, it's, do what it does, with roses especially. You'll probably find dead in your roses just about every year. And the nicest way to keep your roses looking good is just to trim those things out. Trim out the dead, throw it away, burn it, and let the new stuff go. If you have one part of your rose that's really leggy, it's just growing way further out into an area that you are walking that you don't want it to, um, or it just looks funny, you can trim that off as well, even if it's growing and it's not gonna hurt the plant. All right. So summer maintenance is basically all of your dead stuff is cleaned up because you did that in the spring. You're just enjoying your garden and your yard. Mow your grass, I guess. That's about it. Cut some flowers, take them in, put them on a bouquet. Then we get to fall. So things start to die. Things start to deteriorate and wither. Uh, but if you start in early fall, you're not going to get everything. Just like uh, if you start in early fall with your leaf cleanup, there's going to be more leaves on the trees that die and fall or blow into your yard, and then you're going to have to clean those up later. So what I would recommend is just wait till, uh, depending on your area, when all the leaves are down, and then just do one big cleanup day all at once. Blow your leaves all into one area, either for your city to remove uh, to a burn pile where you can burn them, or take them to a composter if you've got that in your city or region. And then work your way around the house and clean up any of the dead in your plants. So hostas, generally you can pull up all the extra hosta leaves because they just wilt and fall on the ground. Uh, canes, any dry stalks or canes that are sticking up can be trimmed off. Any like dead or wilty leaves can be taken away. Uh, if, depending on the variety of bush that you're working with, you might want to check into that and make sure that you're not damaging the plant. But in general, most bushes you can work with to trim them up and just clean them up a little bit for the winter season. I've seen this really cool thing with hydrangeas where people will hang Christmas ornaments on them 
for the Christmas season and it just makes the garden look a little more colorful and pretty for the, the late fall and winter season. So that's something you can do. At this point, you can also hang Christmas lights. Hey, never too early to start decorating. Well, maybe some people would argue that it is too early, but I kind of like Christmas lights up all year round, especially on trees, because it kind of works like outdoor lighting. All right, that's my simple trick for maintenance all year round. If you've liked this video, then I'm sure you'll like my step-by-step -step guide for how to design, install, and maintain your landscape. So make sure you download that. It's in the link below, or I'll throw up a QR code in the corner. You can scan it with your phone. It'll take you to the guide, and that guide will walk you through how to do all these things in your landscape. And I'll send you a few prompter emails just to say, hey, uh, this is the year, this is your time. <laughs> Go out there and, and work on your yard and garden. So if you want that, if that sounds like a good thing, then go ahead and download that, print it off, and use it. Let me know in the comment section what you would like to talk about next. If there's something in your landscape that you have a specific problem with, I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for joining me. I will see you in the next video.